Hey guys, this is Cora. Do you want to see the battery test of ENV200? Yes? Okay, let me show you. So, this is our 50 kilowatt hour battery pack of ENV200. Also, it includes four big modules in total, just like Nissan Leaf. And of course, we didn't modify any parts of the battery case because all the whole positions of all the modules are perfectly matched with the original battery case. So we didn't modify it. And for other parts like relay module, service plug, the coding system, all remains in the same position. Oh yeah, some of you guys worry that they have to remove the coding after upgrade the battery, but don't worry, we don't need to do that. The coding is a very good design for the battery pack. Of course, we should keep it inside. And the T-shape air distribution tube also remains the same position. If you look carefully, you will find something different here. And here. And here. These are the new connectors we added. Previously, we used the copper bars to connect the modules. And we needed to put a heat shrink tube on each copper bar and use the hot air gun to blow it tight before using it to connect the modules. But now, with these connectors, we only need to tighten the two screws on the connector. Let's open it. Yeah, tighten these two screws. That's it. So the installation will be much easier and reduce the risk of virtual connections. Okay, now we will use our high power charging and discharging test platform to test the battery. We will charge it first and we will discharge it. Now it's running. The battery is being discharged at high power through the equipment. And then the current is provided to another battery for high power charging. The charging and the discharging power can reach 42 kilowatts, which is also the maximum power of Chardamol 1.0 version. We use the Leaf Spy to read the data of this battery pack. So we can see the voltage now is 376 watt. The current is 63 amps. The voltage difference is 20 mV and the temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. And here we can see more leaf spy readings. Guess I still need to explain here. At the top, you can see the AHR is 195 ampere hour because we installed a 68 kilowatt hour BMS in it. Of course, it has no effect on the test results. Okay, the data looks good. Charging test is normal. Okay, swap the position of the batteries and prepare for the discharging test. Let's jump right into the leaf spy readings. The discharging current reaches 80 amps now. Okay, 90 amps. One hundred amps, okay, one hundred and twenty amps now. This is the maximum current of our equipment. All right, the current is now stable at one hundred and eighteen amps, and the voltage is three hundred and sixty nine volt. So we can get the power is 43.5 kilowatts and the voltage difference, temperature and other data are still very stable. Looks good. Okay, the current has started to drop now because we set it up. 
When the battery discharges to 350 volt, the equipment will automatically stop. And after this test is completed, we will repeat the high power charging and discharging test again. Okay, so this is for the day. If you have any question or you want to see any other test videos, just comment below. Uh, we will try our best to do it. So, thanks for watching.